Howdy, Mojave D here. I'm doing well. I hope you are doing well. You want to see some 50-year-old uh, horse slobber? <laughs> of course you do. What do you mean? Uh, let me see. I got it. The camera reverses things. That right there, uh, Sassafras uh, bit that my horse, uh, bit that, bit my hat off. She took my hat off my head playfully, you know. She was playing keep away from, from me, you know, and uh, she bit it. I see. I, I got to go backwards. The, the camera's backwards on this. Um, come on now. I, I can't. There, there it is. Uh, she bit it. Right. Come on. Why can't I? It's backwards. It's doing it backwards. So I got to think. The right is left, and left is right. Anyway, she bit it. It, it took it in her mouth. You know. She put some uh, put some marks in it. Wait, maybe if I turn the hat around, it'll be easier. There you go. That's it. Here, you just reverse the hat, and um, she put those marks in it there. You know, right over, right over there, and there. Fifty years ago, fifty years ago, that is sassy slobber. <laughs> Isn't that exciting? <laughs> now the hat's too small for me. Now it doesn't fit. It shrank over the years. Either that or my head got bigger. Probably a combination of both, you know. And um, but the, I I just thought I'd say happy birthday to my hat. And um, I noticed that slobber on it, and I remember I I never washed it off, you know, never tried. I mean, the hat's been soaked. It's been in, it's been soaked, you know, rain rain and whatnot. But that that slobber's still there. I wonder if they could like take a DNA sample off of that and clone her, you know, clone Sassy. That would be fun. <laughs> anyway, uh, uh, thanks for watching, man. Uh, thanks for being here. Uh, we're going to jump into Red Dead 1. I can't wait. And uh, that last episode was so came at me so fast. I mean, everything in Red Dead 1 comes at you so fast and furious. You know, it's just like bang, 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 bang. You know, just, you know, um, you know, it's not like Red Dead 2 where things are, you know, coming at you fast and kind of intense. You can... You know, you can go off the rails, you know, and just kind of go do some hunting and do some fishing, do some exploring, and, you know, just like, whoa, slow down, slow down. You can't do that with Red Dead 1. At least, at least not on the last episode. It was just one thing after another after another, you know. That's fun. Uh, so let's, we'll go and pick back up on it and, um, and uh, get as far into this as I can. I want to get this series uh, completed, um, having a good fun with it. Now, um, if you, if you, if you want to get a free copy of Bladdergate, Bladdergate 3, Baldergate, Baldergate, I always reverse the L and A, Baldergate 3, um, go to episode 2 of that. I just put it up today, earlier, and uh, just enter the word gift, and you'll be entered for a chance to, uh, to get a, you know, a gift uh, of that game, uh, Baldergate 3, if you're interested in, in doing something like that, you know, it's, you know, you, you, you do do what you want. Anyway, uh, I got to take the hat off because the, uh, the ear, ear, ear phone, ear head, the, what do you call them? Earphones. <laughs> the headset won't, won't fit over the hat. So uh, smoke with me if you got it. We'll take a quick break. But, you know, this hat, I mean, this hat, it's either 50 or 51 years old. can't remember if I bought it in 74 or 73. Um, that just uh, is a testament to how well, um, uh, the quality uh, of Stetson, you know, what Stetson did. This was the top top of the line Tets, Stetson back in the day, and uh, it's still uh, still kicking here after fifty some odd years. All right, smoking begun. I'll be right back at you. We'll jump in and join John. All right, I'm back. Let's. Uh, there's a couple things I want to do here now. You know, we broke horses, uh, and that last one was one of the things, and it was really hard. It's a lot harder to break horses in this game than it is in a Red Dead 2. And um, um, I got I got a good one, man. I, I, I got lucky and got one that said it was rare. Now, I understand from you guys in the comment section that the horse that, that I have is the best horse in the game. So I don't need another horse. But if I have to have a backup just in case, I want to get that horse. That I wanna, what happened was I, I managed to break it. It was hard. It took like four or five tries. Uh, a lot harder than Red Dead 2. And... Um, and I didn't know how to keep it. I didn't understand. You told me in the comments what I need to do, and I need to hitch it. 
you know, just tie it, just hitch it up, you know, just tie it to a post there, and then it saves that horse, and it could be my backup. And so I didn't do that. I didn't know. I didn't know how to keep the horse. And um, so what I want to do is try to get that horse back. That's what I want to do. So uh, we shall see. We shall see. But let me get my big head out of here and uh, get over to uh, to John. Everything you know, everything about the Red Dead series, you know, from the music to the uh, the, the graphics, the cinematics, uh, I just love. I just love. So, I might want to try to get that horse or, or another rare horse as a backup. I don't know. And uh, there was a bounty that I wanted to get that paid double if you brought if you roped him and brought him in alive. And so I got the rope. I finally got a rope, you know, doing that that mission with Bonnie. Uh, but then the the bounty disappeared. I, you know, the location of that guy disappeared. I don't know what's up with that. Uh, but I wanted to get that back. Um, hopefully, it shows back up. Because I, I delayed going after him, that bandit, uh, because he didn't have a rope. And it paid $160 if you if you rope him and bring him in alive. It only pays $80 if you kill him. So I put it off until I, I, I got the rope, you know, I, by doing Bonnie's mission. And, uh, and then he disappeared. He didn't show up anymore. So let's see where we left off here. Uh, oh yeah, we spent the night uh, in the hotel here. Um, map. Uh, there's a quick way to bring the map up. What is it? No, don't whistle for your horse. Um, uh, here we'll do it the slow way. Um, okay, so we've got this, and we've got another bounty. But that that bounty was over here, somewhere. It was up in here. And um, it's not there anymore. I didn't get him. I don't know if somebody else went and got my bounty or what. But uh, anyway, well, I, t I guess what we'll do is let's let's go complete th this one. We started it, and let's go see if we can find this woman. I believe it's her son. And every single person, every single mission we've done on this American Appetites has ended uh, tragically. Um, the people we're looking for on this, and it's been um, several people now. Uh, these girls running around without their dresses on. Good morning, miss. Well, let me get my headset on for Pete's sake. Um, hold on a second while I do this. I'll be right back at you. There we go. Now I can hear. <laughs> I can hear better. All right. Let's go talk to somebody if we can. Morning, man. Howdy. He just skipped the guys. He went right straight to the to the gal. Well, really. Walking around in her petticoats. Beautiful, just gorgeous. Well, let's go talk to the newspaper guy. I don't think I bought a newspaper yet in this in this game. Uh, is that something you can do? I don't even know. Uh, buy. Yeah, I'll buy it. Let's read the paper. Let's see if it tells us anything about our former um, companions. Williamson gang, reign of terror. Can we, like, um, zoom? Ooh, we can zoom and uh, move it over. In events that hark back to our state's not-so-distant and none-too-glorious past, a gang of thieves and killers is running amok across the western counties. Although New Austin has never been a place of faint of heart, nor a place that encourages delicacy. 
<laughs> Law enforcement agencies are particularly worried about this new gang. Not since Dutch Vanderlyn's crew was operating up in West Elizabeth has a criminal group caused so much consternation nor gained so much publicity. Although cattle rustling and robberies are unfortunately still common throughout our region, the spate of killings, fires, and burnings caused by Bill Williamson and his gang have shocked even the hardiest and most robust of local residents. What's the last part say? It is clear that action will be taken against this latest gang attempt. Okay. Mexican leader. President General Ignacio Sanchez. Ceasefire last year in a bloody coup, which he killed his own brother. Blah, blah, blah. Sanchez. Tumbleweed haunted. Horse deeds for sale. Cleveland Bays, Standard Bread, Pintos, and Turks. Turk. <laughs> Among others. Marriages announced to be solemnized of Miss Molly Brannigan, daughter of Cole and Ella Brannigan, to Mr. Melvin Brannigan, son of Cole and Ella Brannigan. Wait a minute. They're all in the family there, huh? I don't know. <laughs> I probably read that wrong. Tobacco fights tuberculosis everywhere that fresh air abounds. Man knows nothing of coughs, cold, or lung inflammations. However, as man creates cities and is herbed into factories, herded into factories, sweatshops, mines, and mills, these soggy and unhygienic atmospheres spread the most deadly of pulmonary diseases, tuberculosis. Man, don't we know. Dr. Charles L. Heldon says workers can um, disinfect themselves and protect against disease through regular smoking in the workplace. Well, son of a gun. Can we flip the page? It's just a one, it's just a one sheet paper. Well, there you go. If you got tuberculosis, move out west. Uh, that's true. My mistake, mister. It, it, it would be healthier for you out west, but uh, I, 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 the rest of it I would not recommend. <laughs> the rest of that article, I would not recommend, but hey, you know, um, I've, I've known lots of people, not lots, but I had several friends who had uh, asthma and other pulmonary uh, issues and who did move uh, to where I lived as a boy out in the desert similar to this for that reason, um, because of the, uh, so the air was fresher and, and dry and... Um, didn't uh, promote uh, the symptoms and the the, um, the negative aspects of pulmonary diseases and especially asthma. And I think a lot of people who did get TB back in this day uh, were advised to move out west. You know, to the uh, more arid, and you're just going to be stuck, aren't you? Okay, well, let's get you unstuck. Oh, this is a great way to start. Look, look, there you go. Come over here, Shadow. Shadow, we got a boy to rescue only. I know, I already know, because we've done this three, at least three different times with this American Appetites thing, and the people are already dead. So it kind of smells like a, a cannibal, doesn't it? Oh, hey, 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 we got a skull. Yeah, we'll just ride right up on the boardwalk if you don't mind. I saw a skull. Maybe this is my, my wanted poster. 160 alive and 80 dead. Uh, dang it. I, I clicked on it too fast. Come on. Okay. Mechanics. Okay, I'm hitting zero. There. Yeah, that's him. That's him. Cooper Reed. We will accept that bounty. 160 lives. Okay, so he reappeared. The, the poster reappeared. And he should be where? Uh, it was up. Well, he has changed his location. He's down here now. 
All right, Cooper Reed. Uh, actually, well, let's go. Mm, I don't know which one to do. I don't want this to disappear. Uh, but we've already set a course up here to check out American Appetites. So let's do that. And uh, the thing with all these American Appetites is you can't set up a red line course straight forward. It just kind of gets you in there. Um, this is one of the other improvements that they made between this game and Red Dead 2. Uh, the, the speed of the horse is just too much. They're t it's just too fast uh, in Red Dead 1. At least for me, because I, I enjoy the ride. You know, I enjoy the scenery. But if you, if you take your horse into full gallop, it all goes by you too fast. For my liking. Shadow is a beautiful horse. And like I say, I don't need another one. I know that y'all told me in the comments yeah. that they give you the best horse to start off with. You, you've got the best horse in the game. So there's no sense in trying to get a better one in Red Dead 1. But there is some sense in having a backup. Come on. Now see, this is it. This is this, Here's the thing. So that's as far as you can get Red Line. Then you just kind of have to find it. And it's usually up on a, like a, a plateau, a low plateau. Is where the bodies have been. And I'm pretty sure that's what this is going to be another body, unless this is the last of them, unless we can actually catch whoever's doing it. Oh, no, no, no. I'm headed for the dang bounty. What's wrong with me? I saw the red skull and I started heading for it. I'm sorry. Such a doof. Okay. Well, how about we just follow the uh, the train tracks? Is there there's a train track? The train track seems to lead right over there. I can't get on the train track. Yeah, this is the problem with this one. <laughs> My problem that I've had every single time. It's not a problem, it's just a challenge, right? It's just part of it. It's getting to the spot. I wonder... Um, Whoa. Uh, we don't have binoculars? Um, why don't I have binoculars? <laughs> why don't I have binoculars? I, I have binoculars. Where are they? A tutu, a knife, a gun. I could have sworn I had binoculars. Is there another way to bring up binoculars? I don't know. Well, come on down here, Shadow. We need to keep. We need to get. We need to keep heading for the purple, and we are. We are headed right for it. Probably should be ready just in case the uh, the butcher, the killer, is here this time. He never has been. Is the problem. All right. So bear left a little bit. Hear that sound? The hooks. Just clippity clop. Just at a walk. I tell ya. Come home from work. And get on a horse like this. And just walk just like this. And just the the feel of the you know thousand pound animal underneath you, the, the strength and the power. And, and that sound right there. And it'll mellow you right out. Now looky here, there is a human being there this time. 
This could be it. This could be the end of this. We've never had a human being show up. He's puking. He's hurt. Been attacked. Snake bite. Mister, mister, some city fella just attacked me and broke my leg. What? He Ooh. broke my leg. Some city fella. Guy got kind of creepy on me, and then he got violent. When? Just now. Uh, he ran off that way. Can't have gone too far. Okay, if I on. find him, I'll bring him back this way. Thank you, mister. <laughs> Whoa. Why won't you people just leave me alone? Catch the assailant and bring him back. Hogtie the attacker and bring him back to the injured man. Okay, so he's out that way. Yeah, he is. You're all crazy. It is so hard, much harder to, to lasso in this game, too. What's wrong with you? What? Okay, how do I hog tie? Hog tie triangle? I was hitting B. I hope he stops doing that. Please. This I'll guy. do anything. Hey, you better shoot straight. This. <laughs> You're the law. Don't take me back to that man. <laughs> I don't know who's who. I'm a hog tied the whole lot. <laughs> I'm a hog tied a whole lot of them. Okay, well the mission surrender to lot the, the mission was to bring this guy back to the cripple guy, and that's what I'm gonna do. Nope, wrong guy. Quit squirming! I seen tougher men than you begging for their mommies, boy. Yeah. Well you're the one that's hog tied. The mission was to bring this sucker. Back to the guy with the broken leg. Now, no fun and games. That point proved, sir. You can let me go. Now I'll just step over this cactus right here, this paddle cactus, and get a bunch of cactus needles yeah. in my shin. Okay, so I gotta bring this guy back. This was the mission, dang it. Now the law showed up. And confuse the heck out of me, man. My leg. My leg. You gotta help me, mister. Ride the horse. Um, um, I gotta get in just the right place to pull this guy off. I brought... Ride the horse. Carry the victim. Now, how is he the victim? I got fooled, didn't I? Got cannibals in these here hills. Please help me. What? Fellas got to eat now. Fellas got to eat. I got to kill this guy. Save me from this freak, please. Please. I got to kill this guy. John. John. Where is this guy? Now I gotta make a man. I gotta apologize to everybody. This is mighty generous of you, mister. Now I gotta apologize to everybody. Ha! Cut free. Sorry, man. I believe the cannibal. I got suckered. 
Now I gotta go cut 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 the, the law loose? Well I guess he's just gonna roam on off. Where's the law? Oh they're gonna be so mad at me. They're gonna wanna take me to jail. Well, they're nowhere to be seen. And now my dang wanted guy. My wanted man is gone. <laughs> Game, you're not making this easy on me. Okay, so I need to just relax. I'm just going to listen to the hoofs. The clippity clop. That'll relax me. So, like... Are, 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 is the sheriff and his deputy just going to be like, are they just going to be tied here forever? If I don't cut them loose? What's this guy doing? He's shooting stuff. Let's go. He's shooting about mystery. Skin animal. Oh, he was hunting. That's your animal, Bubba. You want to skin it? Come on, girl. <laughs> this game. Come on. not make it easy on you. No. Can we get out the rifle? That was a nice look. At, that looked like a hawk, didn't it? I forget there's no reward for, there's no quality of animals, you know, like a one star, two star, three star. That sure looked like it would have been a, a quality uh, hawk. I think I was looking at a hawk. Hawk. I was right. First time today. All right. Well, apparently... The law is going to let bygones be bygones. Oh, there's some horses. I can try to break one and get myself a backup horse. I dropped that thing. I dropped that white tail. Get the Windex. Get the Windex. I know. I know. Buck antlers. All kinds of birds. I mean, is that a thing? Is is that a thing? Is shooting birds? Oh, look at this fella. Have an eagle? Hawk. That was a big one. That was a big oh 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 oh. Now, do I dare try this? Because it is so hard in this game. Another one. This is Hawk City here. It is so hard in this. Oh, there's a there's there's a oh, that's a deer. I thought it was a foal. And there's no way of knowing which one is better than the other. You know, what is that over there? Oh, it's just flowers. It looked like a, a body. <laughs> it wasn't fully rendered in. 
So is that the one we want, or is there a better one in that herd? It's a nice buck. Well, since that's the only one we can see, yep, that's the one we want. It's kind of telling us to catch it. So catch this one. I let him go. Dang, I let go of it. Boy, he just went right up over this. That's a hell of a horse. See, we caught the stallion of this herd. Before. He just got kicked right in the head. We just got a a um, horseshoe tattoo the hard way. <laughs> All right, I'll come stop. On, come on. But I do need a backup horse. I don't want them to just give me a um, you know default backup horse. All right, we got to figure out what to do here. That is upsetting that I lost my bounty. So it's like you can just do one or t'other. What is this? Seth. Nigel. Tall trees. What is this? A, is this going to be a legendary animal right here? It's big. Here's the horses. There's Bonnie. Well, I guess we'll go talk to Seth. I haven't played cards yet either. Um, let's let's go talk to Seth. And um, We did like two two parts of his mission, or, or uh, was his a two-parter? Maybe I'll cruise through town and see if there's another wanted poster up, because I do want to get that. I don't know why I want the hundred and sixty dollars. I mean, I don't, <laughs> I don't know. Let's see if we can get close to town if another wanted poster shows up. Does not. Now there is a looks like a legendary rat. Or is that an armadillo? Looks like there might be a legendary armadillo around here. I suppose I could go into town and see if we can buy a better um, better guns. Come on. How do you do? How do you do? Yeah, Seth is back at the graveyard exhuming bones, most likely. But we did the first part for him, and I think it was like a two-parter. Oh, we got a wagon. He's got something going on. What you got going on, Seth, you old coot? A gentle drive. Coffins. Seth. Hey, John. Hey, partner. You what you need? You ready to help me? Not quite. Not quite ready. That's right. He's going to help us with fine bill. Yeah. You see, I wasted a bunch of time looking for that last bit of math. And I got to thinking, Moses was a liar. And I imagined myself doing all kinds of unpleasant things to his course. <laughs> and then I realized... Realized you were sick in the head? That you needed to move on with your own limited time on Earth? No, partner. I realized <laughs> Moses were no liar. The issue was Aiden O'Leary, who said he had the body. Aiden died in that flu epidemic, and the bodies weren't even buried yet. I, 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 
<laughs> got the body sitting in the back of that wagon behind you? Yes, sir. <laughs> You're not even gonna wait until they're buried before you... <laughs> well, they don't care, do you, boys? Honest folk, off to a better place. <laughs> Apart from that Aiden O'Leary fella. I never liked him. They say he lay with his sister. I don't like women, partner. I don't. Not since Mammy died. Seth, what are you going to do with those bodies? I'm going to take them back to a nice, quiet spot and look for the map. I need the map, partner. I need it. I think we should be getting out of here, partner. Get in a wagon. You know, John is really intelligent. Can't wait to get my hands on these. Find some place quiet near Tumbleweed. I got a feeling the treasure's around there somewhere. He's articulate. He's perceptive. He has discernment. And I didn't read the prompt. I was trying to keep my Stay eye on him. No need for the people of Armadillo to see my friends back here. Trying to keep my eye on the yellow road, the yellow you? line. Don't, don't be shy. What did you say? I didn't say nothing. Are you talking to them? So what if I am? I feel less alone with them than in a crowd of people. The way I see it, they lost their soul, just like me. You're truly a sick man, Seth. You remind me of why I hate people. For a man who kills so much, you sure seem to have a problem with the dead. Life kills everyone in the end. <laughs> They ain't so different from you and me. Aside from them being dead and rotting, I guess they ain't. All right, Seth, calm down. You talk to the corpses and I'll drive the wagon. <laughs> train, look at this. They're coming after us! Who? Get us out of here! That corpses is ours! Stop that wagon now, we're using it! Fast as you can, partner! I'll search these bodies as we go! Whoa! Oh, look here. I found me a few bullets. No point weighing down the wagon now, is there? Look how he's holding on Ooh. to both, both <laughs> rails. I got fits falling off of this one. Can I go back and loot those guys? Hey, you have dynamite. Well, I was going to throw dynamite at us. Oh, a bottle of elixir. Thank you, my friend. Oh my! Oh my! Is this the quickest you can go? Well, uh, unless you hey, want to. Hey, this a little right. Unless Maybe you want to crash out. into a train, it is. Where's my map? Come on, whisper to me. Well, look at this. Some elixir. Sorry, there ain't time for a burial, partner. He dumped the bodies out? Son! Some horses, damn it! Wow! 
Why are they after this guy? Whoopsie. Now see what you mean to do? We're sitting ducks. Let's go. Work them horses. <laughs> Shut up. horses to keep my eyes, my head on a swivel, and you're just sitting back there giving orders. We gotta go faster, partner! No, we don't. Sit here a while trying to figure this out. I'm gonna be rich. When you're done with that, get over to Fort Mercer. I need you inside that place. Man. After I find my treasure, mister. <sighs> what do I do with the wagon? Where's my horse? Did I lose my horse? There's no eagle eyes, so I don't have any way to like it. Oh, there's my horse. My horse just come right up and rear end of this. Is there a smart thing to do with the wagon? You know, like sell it to a fence or uh, bring it back to Bonnie or you know what? I'm getting off of it. Hell with it. <laughs> I can't steer through here. with any of this stuff? Tumbleweed. Well, let's check. Let's check. What's going on in Tumble? Oh, Seth is still here? We still got to do a thing with Seth? Okay. Well, so be it. I've never really taken a good look at Tumbleweed. It's like a ghost town. This was the cholera town, right? So I could take this horse and make it mine. Is that how that works? Weren't, weren't there people in Tumbleweed the first time we came here? And why are there still horses here if there aren't any people? Yeah, I can just get up on them. Since I hitched him, is he mine? <laughs> Where are you at, Seth? Digging up bones. Oh, it's like that, is it? Huh? Not talking to Seth today? Oh, the old silent treatment. Oh, whoa. Ah, that's quite a stand. Hey, Seth. Oh. Seth, come back here. Oh, hey, partner. I was just looking for you. Looking for me? What? Over there? How you doing? I'm good. Well, uh, see, see you later, later, partner. Where you going, partner? Nowhere. <laughs> okay. Nowhere wouldn't happen to be where that thing you're looking for is kept, would it? No, sir. <laughs> no, sir. Come on, partner. Okay, I was just uh, fooling. Partner, uh, 
You know, the thought of that treasure does funny things to me. According to the map, it's somewhere in that big abandoned house. Go to the mansion. I'm just gonna hoof it, we're just gonna walk it. And you know there's gonna be a fight. You just know it. Already? The bastards followed me here! We did, mister. more. Try around the back. Check the basement. Go on. We ain't got much time. We're in luck. Jesus, what? What the hell? Some guys gonna come on down here. Smoke them.
the light at the end of this very long, long tunnel. <laughs> Seth's gonna be rich after all these years. <laughs> Woo it's silk sheets and Parisian whores from now on, mister. <laughs> you bet. How much you won't bet? Treasured it very much. <laughs> stupid liars. <laughs> stupid shit, shit maps. Okay, it's gotta be another it's gotta be another chest. They it's wouldn't risk their lives for that. It's a glass eye. Stop with the tears and help me with Williamson's gang. Then you can come up with another excuse to go exhume one of your old friends. I'm the dead man's treasure ain't done me no favor. Sure. Sure. I'm ready for the litter. I'll see you and Mr. West Dickens over at Port Mercer when you gentlemen is ready. Ten bucks. Well, I left a lot of bodies behind. I should be able to loot like crazy. sure how all these um, outfits work you know you know I guess it, it you know like if you're dealing with a certain gang you should put on their outfit and then they, they think you're one of them <sighs> help me out with that guys in the comments like so like if we go after like a really serious bunch of guys you know gang big old gang I should put on their outfit so they think I belong to the gang? Is that why we keep getting those kinds of things show up for us? And we can't pick up rifles. A heck of a lot of killing. So these guys, what did these guys die for? You know, a glass eye? Are we supposed to believe that? They had to be protecting something else. Don't you think? Have I already been here? Open container. Twelve rounds. These fellas. They do the old fireplace trick. dollars at a time. I think this goes outside. Nope, there's a room here.
just in there? Did we go in there? This is like a basement? Yeah. night nothing in the gazebo I don't know you never know Didn't we kill a bunch of guys out front Just a little something for my trouble. <laughs> right on, John. This is how you get rich in this game. You just kill. <laughs> you know, just kill everything. Well, I replenished all my ammo at least. He is flying. So it is a ghost town at this point. What I don't understand is why did they put up such a fight unless they have something valuable to defend. sense doesn't make sense that we would run into that much resistance for nothing like I guess we could go through every every building in this ghost town and there might be something but I'm starting to think not See, we did all our shooting coming down this way, didn't we? Was that it? Was that all the shooting? Seems like there was a lot more. Seemed like there was a lot more shooting. The 
The devil has got into that beast. Which beast? This beast? The devil get into you, boy? No, he's fine. This horse is now your trusty steed. Wait a minute. Uh, excuse me, I want Shadow. Now where is Shadow? Don't do this to me. Where's Shadow? Dang it. I don't I just traded horses. I just I just traded out the best horse in the game for this. No, 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 no. Now I'm mad. Where's Shadow? Don't even do this. You can't, you know, you can't just arbitrarily do the, you know, trade a horse out just because I'm ignorant. Come on. No, Shadow is my horse. Where'd I leave Shadow? Thought I left him, left him back here. It doesn't even matter, right? Apparently Shadow is gone. Now, you know, that's irritating. That really is. It just makes me want to stop playing right here. Now, I mean, not for good, but it makes me want to just end my session right now. Y'all told me Shadow's the best horse in the game. And I go monkeying around. And I lost her. Him. Come on. Can I whistle for Shadow? not cool. That is not cool. No, sir. Come on. Let's go. makes me very angry. the body. <sighs> now I say, I'm Come mad on. now. I'm Let's mad. Get this over with. <sighs> Raccoons in the desert. Sure. 
I'm mad, dang it. Armadillo. Okay, you can buy an armadillo in the desert, but not a raccoon. I want Shadow back. See, now I'm just, I just, you know, I'm not going to be happy. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not happy. Come back between five and ten. I want my horse. Smoke them if you got them. I need a break. I need to clear my head. <sighs> no, that's it. That's it. I'm 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 gonna rage quit, man. That's it. I'm done. I, I mean, no, I'm not done with the game. Just done with this episode. If the only way I can get my horseback game is to go to like a an auto sa a save before I lost her then I gotta replay all that it's a really silly way to lose the best horse in the game and I'm upset <laughs> and, uh, and, you know, you can't play when you're upset. I'm setting a bad example here, aren't I? <laughs> Losing my cool. Uh, <sighs> all right, man. Uh, roast me in the comment section. Tell me if there's the, if my horse is, if, if Shadow is the best horse in the game, it's still somewhere. Thanks for watching and putting up with me. I do appreciate it. I'm going to go play Hunter Call of the Wild and calm down, man. But once again, thank you for watching. And uh, y'all take care of yourselves. Uh, I'll just kick myself for being a sleepy mojo we'll see you on the next one